Hey guys, welcome back to Guitar Builders and Collectors. Today, we're going to review that build I've been going over that you guys have been part of. Um, here it is. This is a guitar kit from Pango Music. It's the second one that I've gotten from there, and I am really liking their stuff. Of course, you know, it's a kit, so the wood's cut for you, the neck's cut for you. The uh, fret, fret ends don't have any sprouts. Um, like in some of the cheaper kits that I've done, is I used Rit Dye here in the middle. This is a flame maple top. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I used a Rit Dye Aquamarine here. This is an Angliss uh, light blue leather dye. And then I went over this Aquamarine with tongue oil, which give it a kind of a, it has yellow in it, so it gave the blue a little bit more of a green tint. Um, but man, that's gorgeous. Uh, two humbucker pickups, one volume, one tone, three-way switch. Um, there's, I used honey uh, Angliss leather dye to give it that roasted maple look. See, I got my signature on the back of that. Uh, this guitar is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I use polyurethane for the finish. I do like, I'm starting to like that stuff more and more. It dries faster, cures like completely within a month. And, you know, lacquer takes, takes a while. So I'm trying new things. Um, I've got a couple more techniques I've got. To, I'm going to try in the next couple builds to take care of all this orange peel. One, I'm going to start using a spray gun instead of spray cans. But I'm very pleased with the outcome. It's got uh, these two humbuckers. The, the, neck, the neck is a 10K ohms resistance, and the, the or, I'm sorry, the bridge is a 10K ohms resistance, and the neck is 12. Like that's, uh, that's uncommon to me, but that's the way it was designed. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. Um, you know, that helps the channel, helps me get my videos out there. Um, I'm not getting paid for this anything right now. So I'm just putting these out for informational purposes and entertainment. Um, my sister commissioned me to build this. My older sister, she, uh, she's been very supportive of me most of my life. Um, she, you know, big sis looked out for me when I was young and stuff. So, um, we're pretty close. So you probably hear a little bit of, uh, some scorpions in this, in this tone video, because that's, that's her, one of her favorites from the eighties. So, um, I told her I'd do a little bit, but I got to watch the copyright infringement stuff. So with that being said, <laughs>
I'm not the best player in the world, but I give it a heck, you know. I love playing music. Love playing guitar. It's fun. And overall impression, okay. So this is a beginner guitar for sure, okay. Even me customizing the paint, that didn't change the tone any. <laughs> um, what I would do, in a, and I made this just stock. So just to see how good theirs was. Uh, the last one I'd done, I'd put uh, guitar fetish pickups in the guitar and I made and I put locking tuners on it. World of Dip and plus a different set of uh, hardware. World of Difference in that guitar as opposed to this one. Um, this is a good guitar for a beginner because these tuners, I think I got the nut wore in now so that these tuners stay in tune longer. But for a beginner, they need to know how to tune a guitar. So when it falls out of tune, you'll tune it back up, get back to playing. Then you'll, you'll start training your ear on what to listen for so that you'll know when you're out of tune. Um, I mean, it's not horrible. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that's it's an issue. Um, the handshake's a little tight, but, you know. Um, I doubt she's going to be playing up there right away. I mean, neck feels good. Slim tapered C style. No, no fret sprouts. It's, I mean, it's, like I said, it's a good guitar. And I was happy that she asked me to build one for her. I love my sister. And that's backwards, I know, but it's J-E-T Guitars. That's mine. That's me. That's my initials. That's what I'm calling my little guitar company. J-E-T Guitars. Again, I buy the kits and I just do the assemblies and, and customize it a little bit, you know. If you want one built, you talk to me. We talk about the kit. We talk about the dies. If you're an experienced player, we'll talk about what pickups you want, you know, locking tuners and all that stuff. But, you know, this one is uh, on its way to Mississippi. Till then, remember to like and subscribe below and, you know, watch the video in its entirety. Have a good day.